I don't know how to buy stars on Facebook. Tony Michelle, um, just come to Facebook. Um, like I explained to you, right hand, top right hand corner, you will see a search bar. Then from there, you can click and buy stars. Okay. So I'm going to get another phone. Okay. Kiara. Hi, Daddy Freeze. Uh -huh, I can hear you now. Hi. Much better. Finally. I'm a yellow shrunk. I've gone to sleep. Ah. Uh, so tell me, are you a witch? Yes, Daddy Freeze. I am a witch. How a did you join? Witch. How did you join witchcraft? You don't join witchcraft. It's a calling. I come from uh, a lineage of women who are healers, who are rainmakers, who are uh, holistic and alternative caregivers. And I was born into this lineage, and I grew up with this gift. Witchcraft is actually not what people call it, and it's painful when I hear people say witch. I would want to dissect something. Uh, mm. First of all, let me talk about what we call witches, which is actually not. There is a lower mm. grade. Can you raise your voice? Because I'm interested and people want to hear you. Oh, okay. There are lower yes. grade of demons. There are lower grade of yeah. demons. Mm -hmm. who, who, these, these are dirty demons without rank. So what they do at night is they go out to perform an evil deed, seeking to use it to up their level in the demonic realm. But these people are not witches. These people are just lower, dirty demons. You see all those old people you see or young people you see, they say, oh, she bewitched me, she scratched me, she do this, she do that. It's an insult to what witchcraft truly is. I am a white witch. I have an onto the yellow witch. We have categories like that. I am a rainmaker. Even though, you know, my father could have sent me to Harvard. I could have gone to school and all of that. But I don't deviate from this calling because this is who I truly am. I come from a lineage of women who make rains, who stop rain from falling, who call the rain to fall, who are healers, who can tell you, oh, just by looking at you, I can tell you the baby in this womb is not well, well positioned. You need to lie down and turn this child. I have a healing hands, and when my friends get sick or anything, they could easily say, ah, Kiki, I'm having so, so pain, and so I say, okay, I'm coming. I will make oil from my house, and once I get there, I would use it to do body work on the person, and the person gets strictly okay and better, even though I'm actually an engineer. Yeah, and you are this is my friend. Yes, I am. I am. I am an engineer, and I'm also in the media work. But the truth is, what we call witchcraft here is not what witchcraft. It is a craft. These are healers in the ancient times. People get scared of witches. You know why? They are the fearless ones who can look at a president and tell him you are evil. Check witches in Romania in the olden days. They are still the same as of now. They, are, they have, Romania have like one of the strongest witches of all time because these are healers from time immemorial. The same with Africa. I was somewhere with someone and they started arguing about beliefs. And I said, I practice traditional African belief where I can't hurt you that it freeze. I can't say evil against you. I can't lie against your person. Why? Because the universe will come asking me questions about such deeds because I am not allowed to. So when mm. people see healers and call them uh, uh, witches, they are not wrong. But when people see dirty demons of lower grade and mm. call them demons, I, I look at it and say, wow, someone just said she had her bath 
and she started seeing scratches. Check your sponge. There's something in your sponge, darling. I'm not saying there are no people who press people at night. Sleep paralysis also can be, can be medically researched. And you'd find out that it has nothing to do with, you know, how we say witchcraft. When mm. people see movies, the, the Nollywood films contributed a lot to this. When mm. you see movies and you see Aya Matanga, they say, ah, he's a witch. Which is I, I, it's That's one of the reasons, to be very honest with you, I, I, I personally, I don't support witchcraft, but um, I open myself up for many conversations because, to be honest, the worst type of witchcraft you can experience in Nigeria today is called Christianity. The most wicked people I've met in my life are Christians, most even pastors. You understand? Um, I'm, I'm, that's my opinion. However, I'm a follower of Christ. And although Christ never specifically attacked any witch or fought any witch directly at, as long as scripture is recorded, many people go to read from um, the Pentateuch, the old books of Moses that say, suffer not a witch to live. Christ never chased out a single witch in his entire career and neither did the apostles. Um, there was a girl possessed with demons. That's totally different from witchcraft. Of course, they did not encourage it. But I'm also aware that the worst form of witchcraft I have personally experienced has come from Christians with the way they behave. Now, that aside, I, I want to ask you a few questions because... My mom is Romanian. I've heard stories. Vampires came from Romania. Uh, witches, too, came from Romania. We've heard all those stories. And I want you to kindly explain to me properly. By the way, I need to give a big shout out to George W. Wallace III. He bought 10,500 stars today. George W. He Wallace he has topped oh. it up. May your life be brighter than 50,000 stars. George Wallace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The rest of you are watching. May the universe water your parts. May the universe water his parts. Wow. May the universe water his parts. Hmm. Now, let me ask you a question. As a woman, are you not afraid that if person here say you be winch, they're not going to marry you? I am not worried about marriage, Daddy. Mm. I am actually I'm likely not to marry because I'm not ordained for a common person to marry me. I am Tell me about that. You are not ordained for a common person. Who are you yeah. ordained for? Uh, it should be a God called man. Mm? It should be a God called man. A God called man. Yes. A man of God? No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. A God called man. Now, Explain. There's a, difference, there's a difference between the men of this era and the men I grew up to know in my family, like my great grandfather and my hmm. grandfather, who were true men. When you see them, you see. Please, them. volume. People cannot hear. They want to listen. Okay. okay. Raise your voice. Okay. Okay, so, Daddy Freeze, I grew up in a family of men. Now, the era where we, we are in right now, we have men that when it, it, they behave a certain type of way, you say, ah, this one is a woman. And I look at mm. them and say, does being a woman mean being low quality to this person? Because mm. a woman is a queen and she goes to the shadow of her man, who is her protector, like her warrior, and say, I bow or I submit to your protection. Protect the queen I am. Mm. Protect the queen I am. So you, it's like a tree. Then you go under it and seek its shadow. It doesn't reduce who you are. It only elongates your life because you're under a particular shadow. The way people talk to a woman who's not married, 
is different from the way people talk to a woman who's married. When you want to ask a woman out, the first thing you ask is, are you married? The moment she says yes, they'll be like, oh, sorry. But the moment she say, no, I'm not married, say, ah, fine girl like you, you know their boyfriend, and they begin all the teasing. You know why? The presence of a man in a woman's life signifies a big shadow, protection. There's a warrior behind this one. This is someone else's queen. Don't even get go there. That's mm. what it is. But we, we started growing up in this era where our fathers do not teach their sons anymore. You are a warrior, worthy of a queen. Protect her. Defend her at all times. Why do you think that when a man dies, some evil family begin to torture the wife? Why did they not do it when the man was alive? Her protection has been taken from her. Mm. Unless her first son or any of her sons rises up to the shoe of their father, that's when there's another protector in her existence. Mm. So I'm not scared if the men of this era can't marry me. I'm not scared at all. You know why? I am not made for the ordinary man who does not understand. Mm. One second. I've never been worried. My son will turn 10. While growing up, I listen. I'm going to have a child in my early 20s. Why? Because I knew that the men of this era would be scared of a woman like me. So nine years ago, in the year mm. 2000, and, in the year 2013, I had my child, and it was one of the best experiences. And now I am not worried, marriage or not, I am not worried, unless it will only take that God that I will look at this man and say, "This is the man for me." I will bow, I will submit to His supremacy. It doesn't make me a lower person. It makes me a queen who understands that I need protection. When you see the queen of England, you see how many guards that go with her. When you see any king, you see that there are guards behind her. So when you are a queen, you need that protector with you mm. at all times. So when it comes to me being scared of people not marrying me, I, I've been with someone sometime. So I visited them and they said they've not been rained for a while. And everyone was complaining. Some people were coughing. I said, it's going to rain. I told them, get me this, get me this, get me this. I went to the room they gave me. I opened up the window. I smoked, by the way, marijuana. So I lighted up my marijuana and I sat down at the balcony. And I started singing, you know. I started calling on all the women in my family, gone and present, who are healers and who are rainmakers. I said, I'm in this land and it's new. This is my first time visit. You need to welcome me with rain. That it freeze, it rained in that particular community and did not extend that place. And it was a very heavy rain. So when some people got in, they were, they were like, how? Rain? Where? They said, ah, it rained, though. And my friend came upstairs and said, my grandfather wants to see you. I said, oh, okay. So I went there and I saw he's very old, still on his bed, you know. And he gently says come closer i came closer and he touched that's when i knew he couldn't see so he touched my face and said you have a nice facial features he said this in Igbo language it was like Iruga Amaka. then he touched my hands the moment he touched my hands he asked me where i am from and who's my family when i mentioned it he said i know your grandfather and he mentioned Cornelius Okekokogo, who is actually my grandfather i said yes he said no wonder you called down the rain now this is not hype this is me not being scared that I was called to be a healer in an era where people don't understand what it means to be a healer. So they marry it with witchcraft. They say, oh, witchcraft. Yes, being a healer and healing people, that's a craft. When you go to war or when you prepare for war, they call it warcraft. And when you heal people, we don't understand it anymore. But it's witchcraft. If you can, Daddy Freeze, listen, the things you teach, the wisdom didn't come from this time. That wisdom is ancient. It's not from here. The things you teach could bring you hate, 
can only bring you love from people who seek deeper understanding of existence. Mm. The, the things you teach is not what people want to listen to. Ah, daddy freeze. Ah, you know what he's teaching. But when a person who seek understanding sits down to listen, they begin to dissect. Their eyes begin to open to the truth. Seven Let me years ago, I used to go to church, oh, and I was actually ordained as. Say that, say that. Sorry for interrupting. You said you actually ordained as, then you broke off. Yeah, I was actually ordained as an evangelist in a church, and I actually went to, you know, a Bible school. And this particular pastor will always bring people's name to me and say. Uh, pray for this person. Anything you see, tell me. Why? He knows I see. He knows I have the gift of vision. So he would tell me this and say, I pray for this person. Anything you see, let me know. He will recharge my phone. He wasn't like the man, man of God that sleep with girls and all of that. He was just a plain person, but he knew there's a gift inside me, and he began to exploit it. So I would pray, then I'll tell him, oh, daddy, I saw so, 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 and so. God forgive me for all of that things. Because I didn't know I was being used. So I'll say, oh, I saw this, I saw this. And he'd call the person and repeat everything I said to him. Oh, uh, so, 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 and so. God reviewed so, so, and so to me. And the next thing you see, they would buy him a car. He comes to church. They did put the car and all of that. And we would in the I afternoon and would sleep. Yeah. But I didn't see it as that because I don't really know anything about that. Then one day, I was sleeping. This was in 2011, and I was just a very, very young girl in my early 20s. And I was asleep. In my trance, I began to saw people, people I recognize. This person is my father's father, which is Mokura Gara, who is, who is the father of my own father. This is Cornelius Okeko Kongo, who is my grandfather who gave birth to my mother. I began to saw my aunties who are dead. My uncles who were there, they gathered round in my room, like round in a circle form. And who issued the warning was my great grandmother, who actually reincarnated me. I don't know her, but when I began to explain to my father what the woman looks like, he told me, You've met your past self. Because I come from a family that understands the gift I have too. And I also have two brothers who have the same gift. So, this woman spoke up. He said, the next time you allow people use our family gifts for, for their personal gains, we will mm. take the gift from you and it will never return. And that was when I stopped taking names from this particular pastor to, to, to pray for anybody or go to any mountain for anybody. Then in 2012, Daddy Freeze, I mm. took him. At this time, I was 22. So I got pregnant. And mind you, I said I've always wanted to have a child because I didn't know what my future holds. If the men of this era would want a bold woman who knows what she wants for herself. Mm. So I, I, I got pregnant. And that was when I understood. That was what I understood. When I, that was when I understood what I've done to myself. I gave birth to my child January 1st, 2013. And in that, the upper week, I went to church. This is a church where I am a bona fide member. I do everything. My brother, who always visits the church, always gives them money. When he comes around, he makes huge donations. And he died in 2012. And this particular church did not come for condolence visit. Why? She is pregnant. She has desecrated herself. So this boy will come back from his trips and give you people a huge amount of money. Uh. But nobody came for condolence. Why? Oh, because the sister is pregnant. So right in the middle of the service, one of the, the elders began to stood up one after the other and they went to the pastor's office and sent someone to call me. This is a church I've been in for years. I had an accident in that same church when we went to Mountain Pape in Abuja to pray. We were on our way back from the mountain. We had an accident in a place where they call Oklila, close to Ochi. Mm. I almost died in this accident, but God has been so good in his protection and everything. And mm. I've made so many sacrifices. I've been out on evangelism. Fine girl, 
good background and everything i had the fire in me i will go out when when you see me with my fine trousers and everything preaching to you you just have to repent because i try get a good church <clears throat> slim fine blood at this time and then time came they told me they summoned me in the pastor's church uh, pastor's office and said what did you come to this church to do after desecrating yourself i said what do you mean he said are you here as a member or as a visitor said i've always been a member of this particular church he said well you got pregnant out of wedlock and it did not allow louder please so they said they said Mm. oh what did i come to the church to do that i got pregnant out of wedlock that i've desecrated myself and all of that that i am not supposed to be in the house of god i said what they said yes so they asked me to go to the back of the church and sit I sat at the back of the church for five Sundays. No one was allowed to speak to me. At this time, I was the star of the church. I was already an actor at this time. I act, I do adverts and everything. My face was already coming out on TV. And they asked me to go to the back of the church. Nobody was allowed to talk to me. Nobody was allowed to greet me. So I was actually a leopard in the church. I was just like I had leprosy on me. When, when it's time for offering, there's a guy they call Brother He will bring the basket and stretch it. Oh, Daddy Freeze, I felt... They, they don't want to talk to you, but they still want to collect your money as offering. Nobody talks to me. And Daddy Freeze, let me shock you. I, made my, I make my offerings in dollars at this time, as of 2013. And I was just a young girl in Unizik. I was a young student. They know that they needed that particular dollar that I give. So my father gives me this money. I keep it. I tell him it's my offering. At this time, I told myself that I want an international business. And the way to get international business is to be given international currency. That's mindset. Hey. So, <laughs> so I kept giving them my offering in dollars. Yeah. So that it freeze. At this point... One day, one, a particular girl in the choir, and mind you, I was already star in that particular church. So a particular girl in the church started feeling dizzy after ministering the song. And she came to the back of the church, close to where I was seated, and she sat down and bent her head. And I turned to her, I said, are you okay? Do you need water? The moment she raised her head and said, she really needs water. And I gave her my, because I used to have small thermal bottle of water cold water with lemon slices. The moment I gave it to her and she took it, the pastor said, Joy, for talking to that person at the bath place, I am now that person. I am no longer divine. Divine is the star of the church. For talking to that person at the back of the church, you will sit at the back of the church for two Sundays. So I said to myself, Am I really a rejected member of this particular church? So I stood up. I took my Bible. I took my handbag and I walked off. As I'm talking to you, I'm looking at myself walking off that church. And that was the last time I went to church in my life. That was 2013. And I began to save church will for save you from witchcraft. Now I can't push you enter witchcraft. Uh, no. Oh, wow. Personal gift. I began to, I began to, I began to explore my personal gifts. I began to know who I truly am. I got closer to the people in my lineage. I began to find out that, oh, come on. Okay. You've been actually been being used by these people. I don't have anything against church. I just don't feel the teaching is for the benefit of the soul. The big teachings are for the benefit of the pocket. That's why any man of God that that turns out to be good, they battle the person straight because you, you are not going to come here and disturb their business. When a person fails in business, the next thing to do is to open up a church. Easy money because our people want to, Daddy Freeze, if you want to destroy a family, tell them their mother is a witch. And because our mindset of witches are evil people, the family will be divided in two. Ah, and my mother been they do me. A man who would not stand up to know that 
in this era, I need to take my business to the social media. I need to advertise. I need to promote. I need to talk to more people about me. You're still sharing flyer on the street while people are doing big adverts. And you want your business to attract the same attention. Even Lamborghini now advertises. So when people don't want to level up to the economic situation of the country, like, ah, I'm on this country, don't have the I really, really have to up my game. That's when they begin to tell you, ah, my mother is killing me. Oh, my mother is pressing me. If your mother is a witch, your mother is evil. Let me not use the word witch. If your mother is evil and she wanted to kill you, honey, you wouldn't have made it out to this particular world. I the swear down. Died a long time. The person wouldn't have come. The mother is the highest protector <laughs> when you want to strike a man hard. Snatch him away from his mother. Then it's ah, over. Mama wait for drink one post in our tablet, then another one ten hours later. You say? One post in our tablet, now for end the person. It, and and even even when there's already a possibility that postino cannot remove it, there are other tablets that take take it out instantly without stressing. You know. So um the truth about, let's go back to the truth about witchcraft. We need to understand that healers are now being, um, being demons, the lowest grade of demons, the dirty demons are now called witches, which is an insult to the calling of what a witch truly is. Mm. Mm. Uh, someone is saying when Nigeria go better, when our people rise up to the truth, when our people start stop thinking about their pockets and their stomach and start thinking about their children unborn, who are already unborn, but they owe China money already. So someone is saying when Nigeria go better, I don't give prophecies on when Nigeria, Nigeria will be better when we get our PVC and step out and take back our country from the scavengers that are sitting on the seat of power, that are already training their children to do the same thing they are doing now. If we do not stand up and rise up to take back what is ours, which is this country that we can only call ours, then Nigeria will never get better. So if someone says, oh, when Nigeria go better, that's on us. If we don't protect what is ours, if you allow people, if you have a beautiful house that is raised, this is your house, it's obviously very beautiful. The lighting, the everything, your face look as if it's daylight, yeah? This house is your place of peace. After going through the stress of Lagos, Abuja, America, and everything, you can't wait to get home. First, there's a beautiful queen waiting. First, there's a good food waiting. Now there's peace of mind waiting. Why won't you want to go home? And one day you wake up and there's a man say, yeah, this house, I will take over it. It is not my house. Daddy Freeze, you will fight. Mm. You will fight. You will not allow them. That is the same thing Nigerians need to do. Nigerians, the youth needs to wake up and take back what belongs to them originally because in the next 10 years, the children that are not born already are already owing China money. So see how you're raising your shoulder when you're working. You don't know that you're owing China money. If I'm not owing China money, I say you're owing China money. I say your country keeps borrowing, so you're owing already. You understand? So... Uh, away from mm. when Nigeria will get better and someone waiting for prophecy. It is all these prophecies that people look out for. That's why they scam them in churches and in different places. Because people want mm. to tell them what will happen tomorrow. The tomorrow you don't prepare for. You're waiting for somebody to tell you, okay, I, I look at Wednesday prayer. There's a Wednesday prayer where people go to church and stay from till night praying for mm. customers to patronize them. But your shop is closed, brother. Your shop is closed. The place that the angel of the Lord will come and visit you and bless you is closed and you're somewhere shouting. I see people using now, broom to flog the Now, ground. I want to talk to you about something. I wanted yes, to talk please. to you about Let's talk about spiritual husbands. What is your take? Mm. Did you watch the video of that girl that came to my live? I'm sure she's here. I believe her. I believe her that it's race. My grandmother is from a place called Anam in Anambra State. They are the cradle of African fertility. They, it's currently flooded by the rain. But that is mm. where you have the Omambala River. And we are believed to be the water people 
of our number. And the truth remains that there is spiritual husband. Let me tell you how spiritual husband actually exists. We've all been here before, Daddy Freeze. When you experience something, the next thing you feel inside is, ah, this thing don't happen to me before. Which day, which day? No, it is not from this time. It is not from this time. It is from the time before now. The things you've experienced. But the, the mm. people who went to big schools call it deja vu. Mm. So you wake up and all of a sudden you begin to feel, I've experienced this before. When? Huh? There's a day you wake up, you feel you've lived this particular day before. And people call it mm. deja vu. But it is not deja vu. It is a call from the past. It is echoes of the past. Mm. So, are there spiritual husbands? Yes. Let me tell you how spiritual husbands actually work. Well, first of all, let me go to me. The woman who reconnected me was a strong woman. When I say strong woman, her husband was a king, but she actually slaps the husband. And mm. she had boys and girls for this man. But because of her hot temper, the husband said, ah, you will kill me, let me go and marry. Now, when this man remarried, the first day they brought home the new bride, she came out from her hut, walked straight to the woman, touched her stomach, and said, you will not have a male child in this family. And if you do, he will be useless. My great-grandmother's co-wife had daughters. And she said to the woman, you will have daughters that my sons will give away in marriage and take the bride prize and enjoy it. But you can't have a son or sons. And if you do, they will all be useless. And this woman succeeded in having a son called Ghana. Ghana died in the year 1974. He died in a gutter. He went to drink somewhere because he's a renowned drunk. And he got drunk. And on such day, it was raining. And he fell inside gutter. And flood water killed him. Now, this woman, when her husband died, she came back from her farm where she went to inspect the rice and everything. And the husband was already dead. And she said, why did you know for me? So she went into the bathroom and had her shower. When she came out, she had her maid dress out. And she lay beside her husband and she greeted her last. She actually died the same day with her husband. Now, when I and my brother was born, when I and my brother was born, my father will always say to him, my father will always say, you know the meaning. You people have come back with this fighting and quarrel and you brought it to my house. My father believed it was still this woman and this man that came as I am. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Hold on, my sister, yeah? There's some guy I need to block. Niger Max blog is saying Singapore Rolex. Dude, let me mess with you, yeah. I'm sorry I hate to brag. Look at it very well. 18 karat gold. This thing you are looking at is $65,000. If you calculate it in Naira, it's 65 million Naira nearly because dollar is nearly wonky. Now, let me break your heart. If they use your papa do ritual, make I call your name. Where be your name? Where be, where, where be, be? Niger Max Block. If they use your papa do ritual, eh? if they can't sell your mama kidney liver, and any part of her body the where they, you know if you buy the class where they lock lock, lock this Rolex, you will lady blue You can't hear the first person. I say every member of your family they have this all on a kidney. Plus, can't use your papa do ritual. You know if you buy the class. Kotoribi. She did a baker, Emma will If I see you for my life again, in fact, I go tell Kyla, me Kyla, visit you this night. Make your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kyla, I can't talk nonsense. So I look like your papa when they buy fake Singapore Rolex. I go look me like this. Can't look like say I resemble your papa for house. We waste. Let me tell you how useless your papa be. When they, they count people for census, they're not Greek count your papa. Your papa say a day here, they say, don't worry, papa, don't be you who they look for. 
They count Nigerians as useless for Nigeria. They still not count your papa. You they hear they talk nonsense. She has to be like war gecko away, come out from inside small hole inside wall. Please, 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 not come my life again. No. Uh -huh. Kyra, let us finish this hour just because the battery is about to die. Oh, sorry. Okay, now, so that if have you ever had an encounter with demons? Let, let, let me end with that. Quick question. Um, I don't have much battery there, power. There are, there are demons, and in the demonic realm, there's actually hierarchy. There are high mm. demons, there are middle demons, then there are lowest level of demons. Those ones are these cheap servants. If anybody remembers, there's a movie when Queen of Umokoyo was praying and she said, Umum piam piam mo jimai kese ja assignment. Those are little tiny demons that want to get to a higher rank by, you know, doing evil right. to me. You know, it was in a movie, one of um, um, Ad Adam Ban or something. So she was praying and she was saying, Umum piam piam mo. Those are, those are nasty demons. So yes, there are demons. But they can only operate where they are allowed. Their first role of operation or their first mode of operation is fear, which is which is what is not even existing, but you've already projected it inside your mind. They look for your weakest point. You see the lady that said that when she went to sleep after the lady spoke about about her spiritual husband, that uh, 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 she had bad dreams. Why? It's all in her head. There are days I mm. sit down and I start feeling like mosquito is biting me. There's no mosquito. It's all in my head. Because I must have spotted a little bush nearby or small water on the ground. I feel like ah, mosquito must lay eggs in this thing. Ah, there must be mosquito. 